What is up guys, my name is Ali A and welcome to the latest Call of Duty information. We're going to be focusing on a brand new Call of Duty subscription based feature called Call of Duty Elite which has been officially announced with details today. Um, information, uh, vague information anyway surrounding Call of Duty Elite has been out there for a while when the Modern Warfare 3 box art was leaked. The Call of Duty Elite logo was also leaked alongside it however I didn't want to go into it too much because there was literally nothing um, official based around it and it was only speculation but now we we have uh, certain details and lots of information to bring you. There's so much to cover when it comes to Call of Duty Elite, so I'm going to try and bring it to you in the most concise way possible. Uh, I'm going to start off with a few questions because you probably aren't exactly 100% sure what it is. Now, the biggest question that seems to be appearing uh, on all the social media sites at the moment is, will Modern Warfare 3 rely on Call of Duty Elite to be played online? That is not true. Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer will be free. Repeat, it will be free. So will single player. So will Spec Ops. So will the survival mode. It is free. Its core functions are free. Call of Duty Elite is actually free as well. However, the most in-depth part about Call of Duty Elite's additional features which uh, haven't been confirmed yet, but I assume there'll be features such as gaining map packs a little bit early, perhaps getting discounts on the map packs. All of that will be available through the paid uh, option of Call of Duty Elite, uh, but you do not need it to play Modern Warfare 3 or any Call of Duty game online. When is Call of Duty Elite coming out? It's going to be coming the exact same day that Modern Warfare 3 is coming out, so that's the 8th of November 2011. However, if you want to be involved in the beta, it will be up and running over the summer period, and you can actually go to the website now, I'm sure it's overcrowded, and you could find that it won't load because there's going to be so many users jumping on there, but you can actually sign up to a closed beta yourself if you wish to be a part of that, and you may be chosen. Uh, all of that can be found on the official Call of Duty website with a link in the description. Will it be available to all platforms? Yes, Call of Duty Elite will be available to all platforms, but as it seems at the moment, if you have an Xbox account and a PS3 account, you may have to pay a subscription fee for Call of Duty Elite for your PS3 and then for your Xbox, which seems a bit silly. We'll see how that advances, um, but paying for two different accounts for two different consoles seems a little much. So if you have a PS3 and an Xbox like I do, you may find that you're only going to be paying for one console and sticking to that console when it comes to Call of Duty Elite. So how much will it cost? Well, there hasn't been a specific price set given. However, you'll probably find it be a little less than Netflix. I'm guessing it will be anywhere between a couple of dollars up to six dollars a month. And uh, that will include all the premium features involved with Call of Duty Elite. So what exactly is Call of Duty Elite? There's so much information regarding this which has all been given out today. I'm going to try and cover the most significant parts of Call of Duty Elite. If you wish to read into the uh, more in-depth parts of it, then you can check out the links in the description. So what we have here is a sort of huge Call of Duty hub, if you will, where all of you guys that are really interested in Call of Duty can head over to the Call of Duty Elite website, uh, which will also be available in an Android and iPhone application, I'm sure. They said it will be available on your mobile as well, so you can take it around with you and uh, jump on it whenever you want but it's basically a huge Call of Duty Facebook if you will uh, uh, place where you can get all of this in-depth statistics about how uh, your Call of Duty game is coming along um, it's basically additional information to uh, the given stats that you will find on Call of Duty Black Ops an expansion if you will of all of that information found in one place but it's not just stats it's a place to meet up with guys create clans set matches and share videos as well there seems to be some form of video sharing side to this website I don't think it will be trying to compete with YouTube however it may integrate YouTube videos and use it as a YouTube sharing uh, part of the website if it does try to compete with YouTube you may find that it won't be too successful and um, that probably isn't the best way to approach this Call of Duty and Activision should use it as an integration of the already set up YouTube community so I'm sure you've been looking at the images on screen as you've listened to me explain these features so the main tiers of this Call of Duty Elite feature is uh, a career mode. We also have alongside that a theater mode uh, and we also have connect. All of these features uh, offer their own sort of tier to the system, if you will, where you can share videos, connect with friends and uh, progress in your own fashion using the information that they give you to help you uh, online. So the sort of statistics we can find on this website is your average KD per game mode, uh, your average score per minute in the game mode, how successful you have been in that game mode, which position you're ranked in the world for the game mode. Um, there's going to be a prestige counter where you can enter in how many hours a day you play Call of Duty. Uh, it will then work out a guesstimate for how long it will take you to hit the ne next prestige. Um, there's going to be all the information regarding 
and your guns. There'll be a tracker to tell you how far away you are from your next unlock for that given gun. Um, there will be in-depth information about the various maps. If you play headquarters, there will be information on where each and every headquarter actually spawns on the map. So all of this information that was uh, not directly available to the Call of Duty players. So if you played headquarters, you'd get an understanding as to where the uh, headquarters would spawn, but this is actually giving the information directly to the players. So it's available en masse to everyone that plays Call of Duty. So it's basically trying to up everyone's game and giving everyone more level playing field. So for those of you that are integrating into the Call of Duty community can hop onto Call of Duty Elite and get all of this information right off the bat and uh, up your game so you can compete with the guys that have been playing Call of Duty for three, four, or even five years now. There's going to be hints and tips for brand new players to help them along their multiplayer journey as they progress and become a better player. There's going to be there, of course, the in-depth information for those hardcore fans, the option to set up clan matches and such through this website and uh, application on your on your mobile phones. So far, the differentiation between the free features of Call of Duty Elite and the paid features for Call of Duty Elite haven't been specifically uh, released and given, as we currently know that a lot of the features will be free and the paid features will probably come in the form of downloadable content maps and uh, extra sort of gun packages perhaps uh, that will be specifically given to the guys that are paying that extra price uh, each month. So as it looks at the moment it looks to be a fantastic free option for all Call of Duty players. Uh, I'm not too sure whether or not paying that extra price each month especially if you're an Xbox Live member who's already paying a subscription fee each month if it'll be worth it or not. We'll have to see which features are given to those that are paying that extra amount and whether or not it's worth it. Uh, there will be an official video uh, trailer for this which will have again more brief information released later today which I'll upload and show to you guys on my channel as well and if you wish to be kept up to date with all the latest Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Elite information just hit the subscribe button. If you found this information helpful just hit the like button or favorite button it really helps me out and uh, do check out more of my videos if you're interested in Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops gameplay and I'll see you all in my next video.